fellow Sawyer back in this time, we have a nice laptop to repair. I mean, Acer, it will always be nice. Mm -hmm. Acer Aspire 3. The problem with this one, pressing the power button and nothing happened. This job is coming from a local repair shop with fault, not charging, but also not coming on. I will say, let's plug a charger. We have a classic uh, round pin charger and see what it's doing. Acer uh, blue pin. Plug in the charger. Have you seen that? I mean, it's taking over four amps. Let me lower the current. Check the three amps because I set up three amps. Now, clearly here we are speaking about a shorted uh, motherboard. But it's something strange. I mean, the voltage drop is not that high. I mean, just one volt and it's like instantly sticking current. Hmm. So we can uh, we can have here a different fault. I mean, usually we have faults like uh, shorted main power in. I don't think it's the case here. I can be wrong, but the voltage is the voltage drop is too low. You see, it's like one volt, but I lose one volt on the wire. That means the short is very near to the charging port. Obviously, you lose current. Uh, on any kind of wire but especially when you have like tiny wires you lose a lot of current I mean the voltage drop it will be visible but actually we can check that so plug in the charger and we have one volt and shorting check that we have 0 0.9 huh? one volt you can see so basically the short it's exactly here on the other charging port. It's not like uh, after the first two MOSFETs. No, the charging port is looking fine. Check there. I mean, nothing shorted inside of the charging port. I'm quite curious what kind of fault do we have here. Now, opening the laptop. We have one more screw here. So the laptop is open, but it's looking like brand new. So what can be the problem then? Now taking the multimeter, uh, you cannot see a shorted uh, main power rail at the charging port. So if we are seeing a short on the charging port, that means the short is near to the charging port. So we have minus, we have plus, and the short is not here, I was wrong. Oh, actually it is. Check there, yeah? So we have like a short here. Now what can be shorted? What is shorted must be something big. I mean, like a diode, like a capacitor. Now here is the charging port, but I can't see anything near to the charging port. Actually, you know what? Let's remove the charging port. Just to be sure that the short is not from the charging port. Checking the charging port. No, the charging port is not shorted, you can see. So the short is on the motherboard. We have ground. Probably here is ground, and here is plus, and it is uh, it is short. I don't have any other option apart from taking the board out. I can't see here to have like the first MOSFET, second MOSFET, or anything related with the input circuit. So I will say, uh, let's take the board out. I mean, it is possible. You know, you remember the HP, they are uh, fitting some center diode on the charger. It is possible to have something like that. And the motherboard, it's out. 
Ha ha. Check there. Check there. You seen that big diode exactly at the charging port? Yeah. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah, so we have a TVS or center diode, whatever. It's exactly here at the input. You see, here is the charging port on the other side, and here we have the diode. And if we are checking the diode, now this is a very, very stupid design, and uh, I'm 100% sure the purpose is to limit the life of the board. Now you'll say, okay, sorry, but you know, it's, it's diode is meant to protect the laptop against high voltage and any chip, yeah, because the main power rail, all power supplies connected to main power rail. Any chip you take from the main power rail and check the specification, you'll see actually that chip is working up to 40 volts, probably around 40 volts, 40, 50 volts. So you see that the, 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 the laptop is not really related with 19 volts. So anything happen with the voltage uh, at the input, what will happen, uh, the diode will get shorted and uh, you'll think, okay, diode protect the laptop. No, the laptop is dead. Yeah. So we, on this case, the customer just came with a laptop for repair. But usually the customer, they, they, are, they are not repairing the laptops. This is a cheap laptop. The customer, it will throw the laptop in the bin and it will buy another one. So the diode, which is meant to protect the laptop, actually is making the laptop uh, dead. I'm pretty sure if the diode, it will not be there, the laptop will still be working uh, today. Now, the solution. The solution is pretty simple. Removing the center diode. Hot air. And the diode is out. And now you'll say, uh, Sorin, I think you're wrong. I think that diode can be also inverse uh, voltage protection. <laughs> uh, you know what? Let me let me check the let me check the power management chip. Let me see what power management chip is here. Yeah, we have a BQ chip. If you check on the BQ chip, you will see a MOSFET. Uh, it's supposed to be a transistor, a MOSFET, on the gate of this MOSFET. So in case it's an inverse voltage, uh, that MOSFET, it will disconnect the power uh, going through this MOSFET. So uh, they figured it out already on different uh, laptops how to protect the laptop against inverse voltage. So you don't need a diode to protect the, the board against inverse voltage. So yeah, it is what it is. What about now? Now we still have a short there. Let's see. So uh, on the charging port, it's not short. So the laptop is working. I don't know. We can check that. 19 volts. We have 19. We have ground. And we have plus, yeah, on the plus of the diode. And the board is not coming on, I'm assuming because we have to press the power button. Usually the board should come on. Oh yeah, we have a BIOS battery here. Okay, we have to press the power button. No problem, let's put the board back into the laptop. Okay, so everything is back on place just for testing. Let's plug the charger. Plug in the charger and nothing happened. Let's press the power button. Power button is on the keyboard. Pressing the power button and the laptop start taking power. The laptop shut down. The laptop come back on. I'm assuming someone reset the, the BIOS and it's working fine. You can see. I mean, this is crazy. Check here how how uh, uh, I mean how low current is taking. It's taking like two hundred milliamps. So we have a working laptop with like two hundred milliamps. When I see the current first, I see I said, you know what? Here must be different faults. But crazy. Probably it's like a very low power CPU. But yeah, it's working fine. 
Okay, so I'm not uh, keep you here. Like always, I will say, like always, pay attention what happened in the power supply. You have the power supply, you have the current there, and you can figure it out based on the current and the voltage. Yeah, I mean, probably you'll set up like a fixed amount of current, but paying attention on the voltage, which is never a stable value when you have a current in it, paying attention on the voltage, like. Lower voltage, the short is near here. Higher voltage, the short is far on the motherboard. So you can uh, you can somehow diagnose a job before opening the laptop. It's very useful when you have the customer here and you want quickly to figure out if it's a charging port issue, it's a motherboard issue. You just you have to give like a diagnostic in like seconds. So yeah, on that point. Uh, even a multimeter, probably if I will check with the multimeter from the beginning on the port, I will see actually the short is near to the charging port. Okay, perfect. I will say uh, thank you for watching, you know, like, subscribe if you like the video, like, like usual, and see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button and you can get instantly access to our uh, members only cool collection and uh, discord private channels for support with your repairs also you can have a look on our uh, united kingdom uh, ebay where you can find some cool and unique products united states ebay store or our patreon page thank you